what would be the set of limit points for the set of integers z okay what will be the set of limit points just think about it now so what we can do we can just pick up any random real number so let x be some real number okay now we want to check whether x is a limit point for z or not okay x is a limit point for z or not now for x to be for x to be the limit point limit point of z okay what do we require we require that what we must have we must have that that for any delta for any delta greater than zero the neighborhood the neighborhood the delta neighborhood of x okay which is the interval the interval x minus delta and x plus delta okay this interval this interval would contain would contain some point in z some point in z okay other than x other than x x anyways i'm just taking it to be any real number it might be an integer it might not be an integer okay so now what do we know we know that x is any real number x belongs to r now we know something about the properties of r we know that for all x belonging to r there does exist an n okay an integer n such that such that n minus 1 is less than x which is less than n so that means what we're trying to say we're trying to say that between any two integers consecutive integers there would be some real number okay okay so that is something that we know okay from one of the properties of r okay so this is something that we know now in case i take my delta if i take my delta to be less than the minimum of the distances between this and this of the distances between x minus n plus 1 and x minus n okay if i take delta to be you know even lesser than the minimum of these distances then what will happen let me just figure it out for you just let us have a real line here okay let us have a real line here you can have integers 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth on the negative side as well. Okay. Now, just see. What we are trying to say, say your x lies here. Okay. Say your x lies here. So, what we are trying to say that the property of real number says that between 1 and 2, there will be a real number. At least one real number. So, this becomes my n minus 1. This becomes my n. This becomes my n minus 1. This becomes my n. Okay, so what is happening here between two natural numbers? There is a, a real number. Now what is happening here? In case I take delta, I take a delta which is even lesser than this distance or this distance. Okay, now this distance is basically x minus x minus n plus 1 and this distance is basically x minus n. If I take delta which is smaller than this, that means this will be my neighborhood of x. This will be x minus delta, x plus delta which contains no integer, which contains no integer. Okay, so this will happen for because x is arbitrarily chosen. So this will happen with each and every 
a real number in between out here so therefore the set of cluster points for the set of integers z is the null set you do not have any cluster points for intervals in integers